Imagine Earth four and a half billion years ago. Forget lush forests and blue oceans. Instead, picture a fiery molten world. This was our planet in its infancy, a hostile and alien landscape. The surface churned with a magma ocean, glowing red hot under a faint young sun. Temperatures soared, reaching thousands of degrees. Nothing could survive here, not even rock. This was Earth's violent birth, a time of immense heat and constant upheaval. The air, thick with volcanic gases, offered no refuge. It was a toxic cocktail, deadly to any life we know. Frequent meteorite impacts added to the chaos, blasting molten rock into the newly forming sky. This was no paradise, but a primordial inferno. Yet within this maelstrom, the seeds of life were about to be sown. But how did Earth reach this fiery state? It all began with a cloud of dust and gas, remnants of a long-gone star. This swirling nebula, vast and cold, held the building blocks of our planet. Gravity slowly drew these particles together, their collisions releasing heat. As more and more material clumped together, the temperature at the center soared. This process, called accretion, continued for millions of years. The growing Earth pulled in more and more debris, its gravitational pull intensifying. Finally, the pressure and heat at the core reached a critical point, igniting nuclear fusion. Our sun was born, bathing the surrounding disk of dust and gas in light and heat. We call this early period the Hadean Eon, named after the Greek underworld. It was a time of intense geological activity, a planet in constant flux. Volcanoes erupted across the surface, spewing lava and gases into the atmosphere. The crust, constantly shifting and reforming, offered no stable ground. This was a period of intense heat, far hotter than anything we experience today. The constant bombardment of meteorites only added to the chaos. These impacts, some colossal in scale, vaporized rock and sent shockwaves rippling across the planet. The Hadean Eon was a period of intense turmoil. Yet, it was a crucial stage in Earth's development, shaping the planet we know today. From this fiery chaos, a new Earth would emerge, ready to support life. Section 4, a toxic breath, Earth's early atmosphere. The atmosphere of the Hadean Eon was a far cry from the air we breathe today. Gone was the life-giving oxygen. Instead, a thick blanket of volcanic gases shrouded the planet. Nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapor dominated this toxic mix. Traces of methane, ammonia and sulfur dioxide added to the lethal cocktail. This early atmosphere was completely inhospitable to life as we know it. The intense heat combined with the toxic gases would have been instantly fatal. Yet, within this poisonous shroud, a crucial ingredient for life was accumulating water. As Earth cooled, the water vapor in the atmosphere condensed, forming the first oceans. Section 5, Cosmic Bombardment, a blessing in disguise. The Hadean Eon wasn't all fire and brimstone. During this period, a remarkable event occurred, the late heavy bombardment. For millions of years, a barrage of asteroids and comets pummeled the inner solar system. These icy bodies, remnants of the solar system's formation, carried more than just destruction. Locked within their icy hearts were water molecules and organic compounds, the building blocks of life. Scientists believe that the late heavy bombardment played a crucial role in delivering vast quantities of water to Earth, filling the early oceans. These impacts also brought organic molecules, seeding our planet with the raw materials for life. Section 6, a calmer Earth, setting the stage for life. As the Hadean Eon drew to a close around 4 billion years ago, Earth began to cool and stabilize. The relentless volcanic activity subsided. The frequency of meteorite impacts decreased. The stage was set for the next chapter in Earth's story, the emergence of life. The oceans, now vast and teeming with organic molecules, provided the perfect crucible for life to spark. From the fiery chaos of the Hadean Eon, a calmer, more hospitable Earth emerged. It was a planet transformed, ready to nurture the first single-celled organisms and begin the long, incredible journey of evolution. The story of how life arose from this primordial soup is a tale for another time, but it's awe-inspiring to think that our planet, once a fiery hellscape, could give rise to the incredible diversity of life we see today.